Hi guys, Drew Brashler, uh with an update on my uh, A55 Oracle um, tube microphone that we are going to be building. Wanting to go through the schematic here and show you the values that I am changing and what I'm upgrading in the kit. So we're going to start over here with R1. Basically this is a 10K resistor. We are going to change this value to be a 15K resistor and that is a one half watt resistor. So when you go and purchase that, you want to make sure that that's it. Uh, down here, we have C9 and C10. These are capacitors. Uh, these are apparently used for limiting the amount of RF interference that is coming into uh, the microphone. And these values are pretty high. Uh, for doing that. So what ends up happening is it alters the high frequency portion of the microphone and uh, makes it not sound as good as it can. So we are actually just going to be taking these out. So both all these three traces in C9 and C10, these are going away. We move on to C6, which is right over here. We are changing this. This is 100 microfarad, or UF, and we are changing this to a 47 uh, microfarad at 25 volt. Next, we are taking R7, which is a 3K resistor, and we are changing this to 1.8K. And then C7, which is a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, we are taking this whole thing out. Don't ask me why, but we are. And then we are leaving C5, we're leaving our, uh, our 6. Um, 100 picofarads, uh, this can also be referenced as 0 .001 microfarads, or UF. So if you're looking for the right type of capacitor, that's a good way of, of knowing that. Next thing, C8. This is probably the most important capacitor in this microphone. And um, I spent a pretty penny on the uh, audio quality capacitor for this. Um, I spent about 20 bucks on this capacitor alone. It's a, uh, a one microfarad capacitor, but it's at a 400 volt rating. Um, the rest of the capacitors, like C2 up here, C1 right here, those are also one microfarad, 400 volt, but I am doing a good version um, capacitor, just not the audio quality, because there's not audio actually passing through these capacitors. These are just referencing things to ground, um, whereas this uh, is the output of the tube of the microphone and putting it right into the uh, transformer, which is a 10 to 1 transformer. The tube originally uh, in this kit is a 12AX7, which has quite a bit of gain. And so I am changing this to a 12AY7. And I went ahead and purchased an Electro Harmonics uh, gold pin tube for that. And uh, this was about $27. I went ahead and had it tested for noise. Um, and they uh, got this from tubedepot.com. Really good place to go get uh, a lot of the components for this. Um, most of the components in this I have purchased from Tube Depot. Also, I've purchased some components from Mauser.com. Uh, so if you're looking for some places to go buy some, some really good components, go look there. So that is what I am doing as far as changing um, values on the, uh, on the schematic. Uh, one last thing um, that I might add is a resistor from the red wire here in the white wire here, so on the transformer, and actually adding a resistor right here. And this would be a 220K resistor. And that's a dampening resistor and makes for a cleaner low end. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and test the microphone before I add that uh, to see you know, how it's sounding and everything like that. So we will, we will see if I want to add that. Um, in the end. So if you have any questions, feel free to post below uh, and look for my uh, upcoming videos about this microphone.